I'm having a lot of difficulties to cut through these bars using this abrasive blade. It might be just me because I don't have any experience using this saw or cutting steel. But anyway, it will take me forever to cut all the pieces. I don't even think that I can cut anything if I continue this way. I would have to figure out something else to cut these bars. I saw a lot of people using this cold cut blade to cut steel. It seemed to be a lot faster, so I wouldn't try that. The problem is that this blade run at maximum RPM is 1800 and this saw is 3800 RPM. So it is way too fast for this blade. The blade will heat up and get dull very quickly. I saw one of the YouTube video that you can use this fan speed controller to slow down the saw speed. So I wouldn't try that. I don't think that it is the best solution because you run at lower speed. It will also reduce the torque of the motor. But I just want to try anyway. Hopefully it will work. And I want to cool the blade down even more. So I will use this mist coolant spray to spray the cutting fluid on the blade. Hopefully it can keep the blade cool. I will try to use some heavy duty mounting tape to tape the spray on the saw about like this. I will use this mounting tape. Supposedly it can hold up to 50 pounds. I would have the nozzle spray around the lowest point of the blade. When it touches the steel like this, this is the cutting fluid that I'm using. I dilute the solution with water with a ratio of 1 to 8. One volume of this to 8 volume of water. For the speed, I will try to set it about here. At the higher end of the medium speed, it will probably be around 2000 RPM or a bit more. But lower than that, I think that the torque will be too low. I want to try this blade again using the cutting fluid. It still doesn't cut very well, so I will change the blade. The steel is really cool to the touch. The blade is cool. So I think that the setup is working well. I will continue to make more cuts. Hopefully with this setup, the blade will last long enough to cut all the pieces. There are two things that I noticed with the last cut. First one is that the blade got stuck sometime. I think that because I lowered the speed of the motor, the torque also reduced, and that's why the blade is very easily got stuck. There's not much I can do about it. I think the real solution is to buy a real cold cut saw. The second problem is that the saw vibrate a lot and the tape didn't work well. So instead of sticking this nozzle on the saw, I will install it on a feature around here and just pointing to the blade when cutting. And that's it. With the force of the blade when turning, 
the coolant will be pushed to the teeth of the blade and cool them down. I think that will be enough, so let's try that. This is how I'm going to set up the spray. The nozzle will spray around here, and I think that's it, so let's try. The second cut was also pretty good. The surface is really smooth and cool, so I think that this setup will be okay. So let's just continue. The same with the third cut. I'm pretty happy with this setup right now. From here, all the cut would be on a single ball. I think it would be a lot faster. Two more cut and I will be done.
Okay, I'm done. I think that the blade is still very sharp. It cut almost the same way as the first cut when I started. So I think that this setup is actually pretty good. But if possible, I still prefer to have a real cold saw cut. That way I can cut a lot faster. And with the add-on cutting fluid, I think that the blade will last very long. But if you are on a budget like I am, I think this is the way to go. Abrasive saw, uh, fan speed controller, coolant fluid spray. And that's it, you can cut through steel a lot faster compared to abrasive blades. And these are all the pieces that I have made with this saw.